In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update Java on your computer so you can finally play Minecraft without having any trouble. I mean, the reasons you want to update Java is because maybe you've been trying to add mods, install a server or install shaders and stuff like that. And you have been getting some Java issues in your Minecraft installation. So how do we update Java? This is the right place. Let's get started. And before we get into the in-depth tutorial on how to update Java, just make sure you check that first link in the description so you can make your own Minecraft server with 25% off. OK, this is Apex hosting in here. You can make your own server. You can make it a Bedrock or a Java server. And trust me, you won't have any Java issues if you run a server with them. So just check that first link in the description for 25% off at checkout. So yeah, that is there. Anyways, how do we update Java, right? That's why you're here. First, click on that second link in the description. It's going to be labeled as something as Java, which is going to bring you to our written tutorial. In here, feel free to scroll to the pages. As you can see, we have pages with all the screenshots and everything you need to know to update Java. Before we download the newest version of Java, I have to let you know something. Any version of Minecraft before 1.16.5 will require you to have Java 8. And any version of Minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have Java 17th or Java 18th. In our website, we have Java 18th. Once you click on this red button right here, like you can see, it's going to redirect you over here where you could download Java 18th and you could even download Java 17th. And in this tutorial, we'll be using Java 18th, okay? So remember, if you're trying to play Minecraft above 1.16.5, specifically modded Minecraft, it will require you to have Java 18th. So that is the reason you might have been struggling to either make a server, run some mods, run some shaders on your newest versions of Minecraft. So once you're here on our website, click on the red button that says download Java here. I will redirect you over here. And in here, we're going to select Java 18th and then we're going to select Windows. Okay. Once we have Windows, we're going to download the x64 installer. So go ahead and click on the installer, this blue line right here. And that is going to immediately start the download for Java 18th or Java 18th the installer here in the bottom left. Let's wait for that to finish and I'm going to drop it into the desktop. Feel free to drop it anywhere. If you can't find it, just go through your downloads folder and you should have it there. Okay. So let's wait for that to finish as we can see right there. I'm going to drop it into the desktop. Now, before we install Java 18th, we need to make sure that this cop is showing in here. And if you don't have that cop in there, you need to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is actually quite fast and easy. Just click on that third link in the description, which will bring you to a written tutorial on how to run a jar fix, but it's pretty straightforward. Just click on download jar fix here. And in here, we could click on this little line that says jar fix.exe. That is going to immediately start the download for a jar fix and running a jar fix. It's not even an installation. It's just double clicking it. It's going to be really easy. Go ahead and drop jar fix into the desktop. And now we could close out from all browsers. Okay. So now we have Java 18th and we have jar fix. Let's go ahead and run the jar fix first. Double click on jar fix. When you double click on jar fix, it's going to prompt you with administrator's permission. Go ahead and allow it jar fix to run and then you're going to get this sign in here meaning that the jar fix runs successfully go ahead and click on okay and now you could get rid of the jar fix i'm going to go ahead and delete it now before we install java i think i do recommend that you check what version of java you have on your computer so click here on search click add a room of programs or type add a room of programs and in here we're going to click on the search list and we're going to type java to see what java we have as you can see i already have java 18 but you might have java 8 so let's say that you have java 8 and you've been trying to play modern minecraft 1.19 for example that is why you're getting java issues because that Minecraft version and that Java version is not compatible with each other. But let's say the opposite is happening. Maybe you have Java 18th and you've been trying to play Minecraft 1.12. Then you need to downgrade your Java instead of updating it because Java 1.12.2 is not compatible with the newest version of Java. It's pretty simple to understand. Below 1.16.5 Minecraft, you're going to need Java 8. Above that version of Minecraft, you're going to need Java 17th or Java 18th. I recommend you run 18th because it's the newest one. Anyways, in this video, we're updating to Java 18th. So I'm assuming when you come over here, you might have Java 17th, Java 8, Java 7 in some cases or not even any Java at all. In here, if you have anything else, just click on it and uninstall it. In this case, we have the right one, but let's go ahead and follow the process so you guys can see how it is to install Java 18. Go ahead and double click on the installer. When you double click on the installer, it's going to prompt you with the administrator's permission. Go ahead and allow it. In my case, it says this software is already installed. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to click yes so you guys can see how the process is, but you shouldn't get this in here. You should just be set straight into the installer, which is going to come up right now. Just be a little bit patient. It should take like a second or so. There we go. This is what you're going to get straight up if you don't have Java I think it's already installed. Go ahead and click next next and just wait for java i think to install it's actually super fast let's just wait for that to finish installing and as we can see in about 15 seconds java i think has been completely installed let's go ahead and click close and now we could even get rid of the installer and that's it <laughs> that's pretty much how to install java i think now you can make a 1.19 server you could have mods you could run shaders if you're trying to run shaders with iris if you don't know how to add shaders in 1.19 i do have a video on that so go ahead and click on it and watch it anyways that is how to update java i think it's actually really fast if you would like a video on how to downgrade java let me know in the comments that is it for now and as always, bye-bye.